Hi everyone. Um, it's me again. If you can see, um, I'm still in my bed. <laughs> I've um, just so you know, this is a quilt that I've done um, and made out of t-shirts. But that's but that's not the topic of the day. Um, today's topic that I would like to share with you is the recent um, Jingle and Mingle, which was organized by uh, Mrs. Brimbles, um, and she. She says, I think this is the second Jingle and Mingle that she's organized and I really loved coming to it because it's always great fun. It's always great fun and you learn a lot of new things. Anyway, so that was in St. Neots in Cambridge and we did, I thought I'd share what we did. Um, so we were provided with, sorry about that, paint brushes, um, a dot paint card, watercolor dot card. Um, these metallic pens and obviously we'd had to bring our um, water and uh, water receptacle so then we were provided with um, two watercolor cards um, that are been, have been cut down to like journaling um, card size um, and we made our own journal cards this uh, the workshop was led um, and taught by Carrie May who is Carrie May makes a mess um, um, and she has a blog and a Facebook group and we share our little artistic and creative um, um, creations in there and she's got an excellent vlog as, uh, blog as well so do check her out and I'll put her um, link in the description box down below so that's what I made everybody's got a different take on it but I thought I'd do a Christmassy one and then just a, ra um, a general one so that you can put a mini picture in there um, as a journey card and I've kept the backs blank so I can write on it um, so that's what I made for today and then Jenny Handam Who's now who was Jenny Brissel from Street Blair from Stitch and Weave? I can't really speak to them, do apologize. We did a um a little bubble hat um workshop made out of um wool and uh cut down, I think it's a tissue paper, like you know, the you know, the toilet roll um cardboard thing in the middle. You just cut down to that size to make a rim and then you put it. If you want me to share how we made that. Um, do let me know at the description um, uh, and comments below and I'll quickly make a tutorial out of it it's not my idea but if you guys wanted to know how I did this cute one um, cute little bubble hat then let me know and I'll do a quick video on it it's really quick and easy it's something that you can do with kids and stuff and I plan to make more out of my off cuts of um, yarn so I can um, put it on my Christmas tree this year yeah really enjoyed that um, that's really good it's a really good craft and then I think there's a lady called Rosie Rainbows on Instagram who has um, taught us how to do a um, tissue paper background sorry I'm off camera and we use like different colored tissue papers and I thought I'd save them because how the colors mix together is really awesome. Um, so we were given tissue papers and a little card stock and we just stuck wet tissue paper randomly everywhere to make a pattern. And in her workshop, we were asked to do that and then draw our hands into it. And basically the journaling is um, about um, What do we want to give to the world in 2019 and then just jot the jot your jot our thoughts on the hands or on hands there so i haven't done that but i'll do that soon and i'll probably do a journal um with me on that one but i thought i'd share you that i've saved the tissue paper because they bled through each other and they've created this lovely pattern or lovely colors um that you can use for your journaling too um you can stick that in your journals as a background um yeah so i thought i'd say came up with really nice color combinations so 
so yeah welded excited to use that at some point so again let me know in the comments below if you want me to share how um i done this on my journal and yeah i'm really really i'm really loving the color combinations it's really colorful and i love it i love that technique so um also had something from Kerry May, which is a lovely surprise. Um, it's just um, a bag of ephemera that I can use for my journaling, which is lovely. In terms of purchases, I have been really good this year and I took advantage of Mrs. Brimble's 40% um, off um, on that day. So I thought I'd buy UKPA journaling cards, which is which I'm going to use for next year on the Big Meat. And also these um, stickers. Now I didn't buy um, planner stickers, you know, the boxes because I'm actually thinking of moving into a TN for 2019 as my kind of like bullet journal and um, planner. So we'll see how I get on with that. But I love Mrs. Bumble's um, design work or um, hand drawings. It's really cute, especially like that and then i thought i'd buy some christmasy stickers that i can um use for my december daily um yeah so this is um uh, october afternoon and with that and then this is from my mind's my mind's eye which is more traditional colors so that's fab and then the last thing I wanted to share with you is what I've got what I had from the wrap table so um, I saw these wooden embellishments and I thought I could color them in or put glitters in them um, but they're random random letters and numbers um, which is good uh, because you can use it for journaling and stuff so thank you to whoever put that on the wrap table and then oops sorry there you go. and then I saw this um, packet of wooden frames which is winter wonderland wooden frames again it's still brand new bless them they, they still got the um, tag price on it but that's again going to be useful for December daily stuff and really look up thank you very much for have put this again on the wrap table and i saw this sorry so this is a lollipop box club weekly checklist and um some ephemera cards that i i know I've, i i already um subscribed to it um to lollipop box club but it will be really really useful really i really love it so i can still make them um make use of them so i can make use of those and there are some sorry that was my dog turning over in the bed um and then some washi tape samples in a leftover um sticker from chocho with mimi and a random die cut and then just a bunch of um, papers six by six paper which is really good um, this like mini envelope um, is really good as well and this one I love this one because you can make a pocket out of out of it and put it in your journal and then some A4 paper it's lovely that you I can use as my cover for my future um, journal Journal inserts, TN inserts. They're really lovely. They're very generic. So yeah. So that's it, guys. That's all I've had from um, the Mrs. Brimble's event, um, which is the Jingle and Mingle. Um, it's been really, really great fun, and I've I've had an awesome day, um, which has been a long time coming because it's been busy at work. Um, yeah. So I'll link Mrs. Brimble's um, Facebook group down below and you 
can join us for funny, you know, just to keep updated and on what's going on in, in what events is she um, organizing and also we can share our makes in there and ideas in terms of craft um, yeah let me know if you want want to see me do something about this <laughs> about this about this in scenario um, how I use the stuff that I've got from the wrap table but ultimately as I said before um, I've been prepping up for December daily, so uh, you'll probably see me use most of them on my December daily um, journaling um, and memory keeping. So that's it, guys. I hope you are all keeping well, and I hope that you all, you all have a good day. Um, bye for now, and I'll see you soon. Bye.